Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about programming habits that we should all avoid. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what programming habits should all developers avoid? Well, I would say that we should avoid overcomplicating things. That is the best thing. Uh, this is very similar, I would say, to over-optimization. Uh, maybe it is the same thing. Maybe over-optimization is the right thing. I just think about it as, for most people, it's more normal to think about premature optimization, is the term that is famous, uh, that that's the root of all evil. Uh, for many people, that is about trying to make code run faster or you might think that this is just about trying to uh, tweak your system so that it performs at the absolute highest level but for me uh, it's a little bit it's slightly broader than that it might be ambiguous that this may be the exact same thing I'm saying depending on how you look at it but what I'm trying to explain is that uh, optimizing something is not just about trying to get the best O notation it is about trying to create a very sophisticated solution that may be solving a problem in the future but it's it may not actually be the right size of solution which I think is a key thing for the here and now so I see this quite often with uh, some developers where you might let's say for the sake of argument have a very simple feature request and then you think about the problem and you realize that yeah this feature request although it's fairly simple it's probably it's very likely that in like if we just do this and that and we tweak things and create a solution that is a little bit a little bit more sophisticated uh, we can actually future proof this a little bit so that when the next feature requirement comes in we can actually accommodate that need much in a much simpler fashion. Now the reason why this is dangerous is because you don't have the requirements today. In other words, if you create a more advanced or a premature optimization uh, today, uh, you are betting that in the future, because you're buying a more, uh, you're basically adding more complexity, and you're you're paying that cost, so that in the future, if a requirement that is very similar to the one you have today comes in you will be able to accommodate that now that is a gamble it's a big gamble and the only time you should make that gamble is if you are practically certain that you're going to have almost identical requirements come in because the thing that can be really dangerous about doing this even though you might know that yeah we're probably going to add another module here or you're gonna integrate to another system and so forth is that you don't know the specifics of what the requirements are going to be so you're betting that the solution you have the premature optimization the optimized one is going to be able to accommodate the, those requirements or that they are going to be so similar that it's an easy tweak to just fit the whole thing together what's dangerous about that is if that changes even if you knew that this thing is kind of come, it might be so different in, in when we talk about the details that you realize that no, actually, this is not going to work. This is actually a, not a good solution. So now you paid the cost of keeping this adva more advanced solution in place that could have been simpler and you still have to rewrite it because now the requirements changed and now you might have even more work on your hands you might have locked yourself into this solution which is the worst case scenario where you might have a like I like to call it the backbone feature where you have a bunch of other code that is tied into this code and now you have to continue down this route because it's simply too expensive for you to re rewrite this thing or tweak it or change it or you might go into denial mode which is also happens for a few philosophers uh, well not a few there's quite a few where you you become defensive about the choices that you made and don't and you don't want to admit that there was a mistake here and now you're trying to just continue uh, you, you try to hack things together and try to just justify the choice that you made and make it work and that's also really bad what you should do is to be grown up about the thing and just put on your dummy hat and say yep this was a mistake on my part and trust me guys I've had this dummy hat more than once and you'll say yep that was not a good idea let's just uh, deal with this and uh, and let's throw it out the biggest lessons that lesson that I learned this is probably 
the most useful piece of advice that I can give you in this space. And trust me, I had to learn this over several years of hardship. Is that if you ever get to a point where you feel this pinch of trying to optimize something or you know that it's very likely that something is uh, going to happen next or if you're you're for forced to take a decision on should you go do a or should you do b try to go for the solution that will have the lowest impact while like the simplest solution of course you should always go for the simplest solution and not over optimize but even in that space if you feel that you want to try to make it slightly nicer always think about can, if I make this choice now, how hard will it be for me to change this? If you ever have the option of optimizing your code because you know almost certainly that this is going to save time in the future, always ask that question. Because if your answer is, no, you know what, this is actually going to be really hard. If, if, we, if we make this decision now, if something unforeseen happens, this is not going to turn out well for us, or rather it's going to be a lot of work to rewrite this. If the, uh, that is your answer, don't do it. Fight the urge of optimizing your code. Never do it. If you know that if this choice is made, you're probably going to have to spend a lot of time undoing it. On the other hand, if you see that, yeah, I, we can go, we can do A or we can do B, and it's pretty easy, regardless of which one we do, to change it. We can change it. It's, not, it's very low cost for us. It's low risk, and we can just fix it immediately if it turns out that it didn't go so well then go, go for it. If you really think that your gut is going to be right about this one, then go for it. But really, really, really hear me when I say never, ever, if there's a slight chance even that you're going to be wrong in the future, and that's always a chance, that, uh, never lock yourself into a solution that you're not certain about is right, or that you can't change uh, in a fairly easy way uh, uh, when the new requirements come in. That is the best tip that I can give you and it has cost me and several companies a lot of uh, legacy. So what I want you to take away from this is that the habit that all developers should avoid is to, to try to be clever about uh, their solutions. Try to simplify your problems as much as humanly possible. The simpler that you can make your solution, the better. And don't do premature optimization. Don't try to be clever and create a solution for features you, for, for a set of requirements that you don't have today, that you might have in the future. Because if you do that, odds are that those features, those features that you're going to get uh, as part of the new requirements, they may not actually fit into your current solution. And now you pay the cost of having this more sophisticated solution around and you still have to rewrite it. Or it may not be something that is going to work out anymore and you have to keep it around and it becomes legacy. And now you have a worse solution because you have a sophisticated solution that made the original problem harder and you're not actually getting any of the benefits. And always remember, as if, if you're ever uncertain, remember these words. Is this code going to be hard to change if we do this? If the answer is yes, never take a risk with it. Because odds are that you're never going to go back and fix it. It's going to stay all around forever. If the code is easy to change, you can be a little bit risk-taking with it. But otherwise, avoid it at all costs. Have a great day.